Welcome to Joseph Harp Correctional Center. Uh, I'm Warden Luke Pettigrew. Tell you a little bit about the history of, of Joseph Harp. It was um, opened in 1979. And uh, the name of it uh, actually was named after a, a warden at the Oklahoma State Reformatory back in 1949. Joseph Harp is a male medium facility or capacity is 1345 to include a 400 bed uh, mental health uh, unit program. Our inmates range in age from 17 to 90. We have general population inmates just like you'd find on any other at any other prison but we also have mental two mental health units and then we have J unit which is a handicap geriatric unit where some of our more ill inmates are. Out of the inmates we have here we have 1,000 a little over a thousand that are on some type of medication uh, over 600 of those are on some type of psychotropic medication. An awful lot of medication. Yes. <laughs> yes, there are many uh, elder people here. And they account for six, over 6,000 prescriptions. We expect them to receive the proper medically necessary care. They're human beings and I expect our staff to treat them like human beings. You know, I always remind people that they're, they're somebody's brother, uh, father, the same as, as you have a brother and father, that these guys there's a family out there that cares about these guys the same as you care about your family. Taking good medical care, the, giving the proper care to these people is our main priority. I mean, we want to make sure that they're taken care of. In 2017, um, it was determined that it would be best to consolidate all of the uh, mental health units from all levels of security. So we brought the Oklahoma State Penitentiary mental health unit and incorporated it here. We are the largest provider of mental health care in the state of Oklahoma. We have more people in mental health care here than in all of the community mental health inpatient centers combined. They come from all walks of life and they find themselves in the Department of Corrections and they are not able to survive in a general population environment. Uh, in most cases, they are far too vulnerable in some cases they're more aggressive, but we are able to provide mental health treatment. Um, we have assessment tools to look at what are their specific needs. But right now I have 10 clinicians working with these guys, so they have a much more intense therapeutic uh, experience. We have a partnership with the Department of Mental Health. We have two permanent staff members here that are actually Department of Mental Health employees and they help them transition into back into society when their sentences are complete. This is life changing. Absolutely, absolutely. One of the, the key things of what we do is we're relieving suffering. So you have somebody come in and you see it in their eyes and you see it in their actions and you, you help them to relieve that suffering and the guys tell me in here we feel normal and what what better thing to hear than that we have the youthful offenders uh, program which is uh, any individual that's incarcerated or tried as adult under the age 18 and incarcerated they're sent to Joseph Harp Correctional Center um, these inmates has their own contained unit. Uh, they're not allowed on the general population yard with other inmates. And that's for their safety? And that's for their safety, correct. We offer them educational GD programs and things of that nature. We currently have seven um, bond issues that's currently going on right now. It makes for me to want to kind of pull my hair out every once in a while. But um, yes, there's a lot of construction going on. Um, we're redoing several roofs, we're redoing several lagoons, um, we're getting new water pipes, new electrician lines, lines coming into the facility. Oklahoma Department of Corrections is known for their teamwork and in, in, in working together as a family. But on the other hand, we're, it's also considered a business. We have a business. Uh, to do, and um, you know, any t any time that we can save save money, whether it's putting up a memo to turn turn the bathroom light off or whatever, I mean, we do so. So what we do at Joseph Harp Correctional Center is we have our service industries for uh, OCI. Uh, what OCI produces at the Joseph Harp, for we give them. Uh, skills that they can take into the business world and we've got uh, some very successful people. We've got um, 
three inmates that have worked for our service industries at Joseph Harp that have left DOC and are now millionaires. It's helped me with uh, project management. It's helped me with uh, computer skills. It's helped me with communication. It's helped me with uh, having a work ethic. Well, I've learned a lot of project management skills since I've been in high level uh, computer application skills. This is a senior panel from 1920 from a school. Oversized. We're going to uh, uh, take, take a picture of it and uh, clean it up. You see it and crop it and send it back to the customer in a digital form. It gives guys the opportunity to make money and it keeps and it takes a lot of uh, pressure off their family. And that compensation translates to um, paying taxes when they get out and supporting their families. And, and a lot of times in prison, it translates to supporting their families, birthday presents, Christmas, camp. We've got, I've got guys, I can go on for days with stories with our guys so proud that they could send $100 so their kid could go to Falls Creek. We provide opportunities, of course, for the inmates to work, but we also, to save taxpayers money, uh, supply the state offices and any nonprofit organizations with furniture. So our state capital is full of furniture that's made by inmates. Uh, it's found in all state agencies, schools, state and local uh, county governments. And we start it from raw materials, work it all the way through saws, routers, all the way around the factory out to the warehouse and ship it ourselves. And uh, it provides these guys with some skills that when they get out, that hopefully they don't come back. We're right now, we're right around 100 inmate workers right now. We got some full-fledged carpenters back there. That'll work. Building them some uh, solid oak wood benches, uh, refurbishing stuff. Uh, these guys can get out and go to work pretty much anywhere. We just teach them just to have responsibility of having a normal job. We're very proud of the furniture that we make. Inmates take a lot of joy in making it. It gives them an opportunity to learn a skill and it gives them an opportunity to be someplace in prison besides in prison for eight hours a day. Joseph Harbor Correctional Center has uh, one of the two main leather shops in the state. We employ roughly 10 to 15 inmates in there. Very skilled laborers. Uh, everything's hand tooled, hand stitched. And then you punch holes all the way around and then you start lacing it. This is a new tool here that uh, that we got a hold of and I, I kind of like the way it looks. You just kind of match it up. And... Every individual item is unique to that person. They can construct everything from um, riding saddles down to leather wallets, purses. We also have a guy down there that can custom make uh, cowboy boots then those inmates do get paid for their skilled labor down there while they're here. And then if they get discharged, then they also have the opportunity to continue that work on the streets. This is the Joseph Hart Correctional Center. And it's a new greenhouse. Uh, it's a project that started about seven years ago. We have new siding that just arrived last week. So we're gonna enclose it with hard plastic, uh, make it more productive. Um, we also have two additional gardens that are adding roughly about three acres worth of garden. And then additionally, as we get larger, then we'll go down the hill and use up the space down there. Instead of having dead space, we'll be able to use it to be productive. Um, should be able to produce somewhere in the neighborhood of about $200,000 worth of fresh produce. That will go straight back into the kitchen um, and help benefit the mills. We'll also grow new spices um, to help season the mill that'll be healthier and cut down costs for the state. Everybody wins. Everybody wins. Joseph Harp is, is, you know, in my opinion, is the prize facility for the state of Oklahoma. Uh, it has to do with the great staff that we have working here, the, the, the inmates. Inmates work hard to get to Joseph Harp uh, because of the, the atmosphere on the yard. The facility is extremely clean and, and, you know, that there again, that's thanks to the good staff and the inmates that's here at this facility as well.